Mocha and Zeke's litter. We have seven puppies and we are going to go ahead and introduce all the puppies. We have started contacting the waitlist families. So the puppies that we are seeing are available now that will change later once we get in contact with all the families and they do make their resolve. So the first one that we have, this is Pearl. Pearl is a female. She is a very lightly marked bicolor, black and white. She has a tiny, tiny bit of white on her chest and a little bit on her toes and a tiny bit on her face that might go away. So this is Pearl. Next, we have Cosmo. Cosmo is a boy. He has a yellow collar. Cosmo is a bi collar. Some light on his stomach, the tips of his toes, a little white tip on his tail. This is Cosmo. Next we have Peony. Peony is a black color female. She has a tiny, tiny bit of white on the back of her paws that might stay, it might go away. Next we have Tide. Tide is a tricolor male. I don't see any try on his eyebrows yet. I think that's his dimples coming in. But where I'm seeing the tricolor is on, on his legs here. He has some tricolor. And on the back of him. Showing tricolor. This is tied. Next we have Poppy. Poppy is a sable tricolor. Poppy is a female. And she has beautiful markings. And then we have this hiding over there. This is Taj. Taj is a very pretty marked tricolor male. Got it on his cheeks. He has it on his front poles. His eyebrows. See it on the back leg too. So that is our seven beautiful puppies from Mocha and Zeke's litter. To do a recap of the puppies available, 
Yellow collar is Cosmo. Cosmo is a male. The orange collar is Tide. Tide is also a male. We have Taj with a red collar. He is a male. We have Peony with a light pink collar. She is a female. We have Pearl with a lime green collar. Pearl is a female. We have Rose with a hot pink collar. Rose is a female. And we have Poppy with a light blue collar and Poppy is a female as well. Hi waitlist families, it's me again. I just want to interrupt real quick and I want to give some recaps of how it works. So if you've not been contacted yet, it's because it's not your turn on our list. We start with number one and we're going to work our way down the list and contact each family who has the option to pick at this time. Remember though, we have seven puppies. So we've currently contacted the first seven families and if pick number one decides to pass, pick number eight, you're there. It's going to be your turn to pick. So please make sure that you're paying close attention to your phone. We do ask kindly that nobody contacts us right now to see if their time to pick is ready. Once your picking number is ready, I promise you we will contact you. We're receiving a high volume of interest in puppies right now. So our biggest concern, first and foremost, is the care of our puppies and our mamas. Secondly, we are contacting the waitlist families who have been waiting in the order in which they're on our list. So we will contact pick number one and we're going to work down the list. If you have not been contacted, it's because it was not your turn to pick and all puppies have been reserved. Once it's your turn to pick, that's when you're contacted. We will be updating our website with our waitlist as families are picking and not picking. So just pay close attention to that at whisperinggraceacres.com. There you'll see where you are on the list and it's gonna update probably within the next few days. Now waitlist families, once you're contacted, remember you have a 24 hour window to select a puppy reserve and place your deposit. Or if you decide to pass, you remain on the waitlist and likely move up. So a little bit more about this litter. This is Mocha and Zeke's litter. Mocha is one of our standard poodles here at Whispering Grace Acres and Zeke is our Bernese Mountain Dog Stud. 
This litter is a standard F1 generation. They will be approximately 50 to 75 pounds. Please remember that this is only an estimation and sizes can vary.